Well, it's a pretty warm Thursday. And for everyone, uh, I uh, uploaded uh, a couple videos before this one will be uploaded uh, because uh, uh, my videos are sort of like lagging because my laptop died uh, and it took me about four days or so before I could uh, get me another laptop. Uh, and I uh, uh, got one and it seems to be working pretty good. I was able to upload a video yesterday and I've got two more videos to upload before this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's like really, really hot here. I don't know. Uh, it's got to be, I think, at least uh, upper 80s, if not 90s. But I don't know. With the, there's a little bit of a breeze that's doing that's kicking in. So just uh, brought up another load of concrete. I got it in there. I'm basically down to two pallets of concrete. I'm going to have to get another truckload here soon. Prices have gone up quite a bit. So now I'm looking at basically, uh, I used to like uh, a couple years ago pay only like, uh, you know, between uh, 900 and 1200 for a load. Now I'm over uh, 2000 So I think uh, the last one was like just a little over 2000 for a load. And that was a few months ago probably more like 2100 now uh, so uh, I'm gonna basically get all the concrete bags up the top uh, ready for getting another pour pull the forms that off of the last pour and start building the forms for the next pour probably not get too much of that done and then I want to be get on the uh, the sani excavator and try to make the uh, the access into the parking area here in the building uh, a little bit wider. So, ah, uh, got lots to do today, and uh, I've already been working probably about eight hours right now. Yeah, over eight hours uh, back in Salt Lake and here, and so now I got another like four hours, maybe three hours by now before uh, the day's ending. So uh, I'm gonna get up there and uh, take a look uh, at the uh, concrete and see what we got. Yeah. Well, here's the forms. Everything's all cured up above. I'm gonna take all these down. It's, uh, basically, I just put them in under pressure. I use only the minimum of screws. Don't really need too much. Most of the time gravity really will help you because once you start getting the uh, concrete poured it compresses your forms as long as the forms have a stable foundation you can just uh, let the uh, boards hold themselves and then a lot of times when I go to put in some of these I cut them so they fit in nice and tight if not I will put a screw or two if they look like they want to move around but uh, I try not to cut the wood. So you see some of them come down at different angles. If I don't have a good shim, uh, that will fit it right quickly. I'll just leave them at an angle. Uh, that's to save wood. Because uh, uh, wood costs money. And uh, I don't like cut the wood unless I absolutely have to cut it. Uh, so if I have some wood on making the form that's too short, you can always use cinder blocks or, and pieces of a cut block to uh, add, uh, uh, to make it so that the wood will then eventually be the correct height. That's what I usually do right there. You can see right there. Just keep stacking it up. Some of these, uh, Boards might have been used more than 50 times. So 
Alright, is that in here right now or am I going to have to put some forms for this section? This is going to be a pretty big one right here. Um, uh, and then we've got the, uh, the uh, L-shaped one right here. Oh. All right, well, I get uh, finishing the rest, but uh, that's pretty much all the description I got for now. Well, I have a little over a third of the uh, concrete bags unloaded out of the truck and all the supplies out of the cab and the concrete out of the cab. And uh, so I do a little bit of moving. And then when I get a little bit tired, then I go over to the excavator here where I'm like widening the uh, access into the, uh, the upper uh, uh, lot area here, from the parking lot and the buildings and stuff. Uh, it was a little narrow there, so I can show you what I got. Went through and moved a bunch of the stuff out of the way on the right. Bunch, put all the metal over here. And there's a bunch of bedrock here. However, it's fractured on uh, basically uh, uh, plates. And they're all fractured. Now, if you try to pull with the grain, you get nowhere, but if you pry against it sideways, they just pop free. Uh, you can see all the pieces just popping free here. Uh, I do have one little hard spot right here. Uh, if I can pull this way, I can pop each layer out, but I don't have much space. So I don't know if I'll be able to get to that now. I'll just clear it as much as I can. I can always come back with a jackhammer and finish it. Uh, or you can use a fire, build like a little fire pit area, get fi uh, the wood burning pretty good and the stuff then uh, weakens and, and fractures itself and you can take care of it with just uh, fire burning on it all day. Uh, so you can see how it's fractured right there. I just got to grab in between the, the seams and the cracks and just pop them, pop them, pop them, pop them. Uh, uh, it's, it's actually doing pretty good. You can see right back here. You know, that's where the uh, rock layer was at that angle. I was able to just keep popping it free. There's a couple little spots that are sticking up. Those can be done later. Uh, it's, uh, so I'm gonna get in and do some more digging here with the excavator. This sandy's actually working pretty good. Well, I figure before I start, uh, everybody's been commenting on the broken window right here and uh that window has been broken for a while it was broken before they brought it here there's actually a brand new window at the shop for it uh, that they've got to replace it but the window was broken during a pressure washing session i was told and then apparently the pressure washer kicked loose a rock and just smashed the window so uh it's a little bit of a pain because you can't really use air conditioning with the big window gone. But the window's down there. I guess uh, as soon as they can either bring somebody up here or we get this machine down there, uh, I don't know when they'll get the window put in. It would be interesting to see if the window guy would come up here. Now that the trail is pretty good, uh, if we brought all the stuff up for him and then he came up on the side-by-side, -side, it would be an interesting trip for him. All right, well, let's get digging.
can see uh, that when I can uh, right in here if I can pull this way I can just pop it really easy but I'm all the way back as far as I can and I'm so close it's really hard to get right here because I'm grabbing too far in I got to be grabbing first and pry the first layer then the next layer and the next layer and the next layer but I'm just in a I'm as close to the edge of the mountain on this side as I can get so I'm just slowly working on this edge over and I'll back up a little bit more a little bit more just keep breaking it back and breaking it back uh, when I do that I don't have to put very much pressure on the uh, teeth of the bucket so it moves per I just have to put a little bit of pressure and just uniformly just break off the next layer well I'll get working on that and uh, video once I get some uh, progress done well I'm really impressed with this Sani uh, I've been working and working on it and I actually uh, got in about eight feet which I didn't think uh, possibly do it that's uh, look at this I mean it was all bedrock right up to about where the track is right there and uh, yeah, the rock was fractured, but Dip did a really amazing job. I was able to get basically all the way. There's a couple hard spots. A uh, little hot spot right there. I uh, just can't get a good spot to pry. But uh, I got basically uh, done pretty good. I can come back with a, uh, a jackhammer and just finish it off just barely uh, that did an amazing job clearing it out you can see all that right there that machine sure did a great job so well next thing I have to do is just go and finish unloading the bags out of the back of the truck then I'm going to call it a day been windy dusty and I kept having to put water on me to cool me down but uh, uh it worked out pretty good because the original trail went to right about here and uh, I have now enough space to walk around the uh, mountain truck so we got a better now a staging area to bring materials up for the uh, underground storage bunker. So, because before we're like all jammed. Uh, I don't know whether I'll consider uh, trying to clear some of that stuff up there and make the, uh, uh, the staging area over there and then bring the stuff up here or just use this as a staging area. It is sort of nice if it's over there because then it's closer to where I'm working. But, uh, well, uh, the sun's gone down, and it was nice carrying the concrete without the sun uh, beating down on me. So basically, I don't know if you can hear with the wind. Everyone have an awesome uh, evening, and uh, I thank all of you for watching. And if you can, subscribe and uh, and watch my videos. Thank you.